hello and welcome to Poor Man RC. Today is cleaning day, the video I promised. Um, I hope you guys can see very well. Uh, like I said, I got this cool little mount that goes on the window. And I'm able to show you guys some things on there with your ride over it while I'm taking it apart and doing things. I really, I wanted you guys to get nice and close. The ones who don't know what they're doing, you know there's lots that are watching who do know what they're doing. And uh, makes it a lot easier for them because they know what they're doing. Of course, there's people out there who don't. And I want to mainly get to those kind of people. You know, those are the kind of people I'm reaching out to. The ones who don't have the money and don't really know what they're doing at the same time. Um, I really appreciate all the uh, info and everything from you guys. So I hope this is enough light. And I hope you guys can see. And I hope everything works out because here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart. I'll explain as I go along. Um, first thing I started off with, of course, is the tires. This is not something everybody uses. They normally have the right size. This is like a 8 or a 7 millimeter, I believe. <clears throat> or I'll fast forward it or something. I'll figure some way to make it cruise a little faster. side I don't suggest doing it like this but I don't have any other choice like I could run down to the little mini mart and da 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 but like I'm constantly with the kids here and I can't just leave anytime I feel like it like I have to wait until my old lady's home from work and then I can go, but then by then it's too late. I can't just run down to the store because not everything's open. <coughs> oh my God, I'm, I don't know if you guys are going to like this video, man. I just, I just can't stand not knowing. If you guys are not going to like it or if you do like it. Um, of course, I have my toothbrush, handy toothbrush, and bowl of water, of course. And a rag to dry things out with. <coughs> And I'm just going to keep on cruising here and uh, just start taking stuff off the top. Keep all my pins in the same place like I keep everything in one area. Um, let's see. Take this off. Take this off. My little handy tool here. And I'm a little sporadic, like I jump around quite a bit from what I'm doing to what next to do, you know, like I said, I was going to start the tires and work my way down. And now I'm on the motor. Huh. Flip it over. These two screws here. I was having some grinding sounds in this here. And I didn't know where it was coming from, so I just started dumping oil on uh, where my gears were at. The, the spur gear, I put like a couple drops of uh, two-stroke oil. Because I like two-stroke oil. Oh my god, this must be the most boring. Ah, probably you're like, oh my god. This guy is going to take forever. Talk about absolutely nothing. He's got one little handheld thing. He's not even, not even drilling. Don't even have a drill to go with all this fun action he's having. But I double finger, if you guys can't tell. I get a double twist in there. Don't, don't let that screwdriver stop spinning. It's 
especially if you want to get done anytime soon. So you gotta cruise, 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 spin, 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 twist, 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 fast you can. You're probably thinking, this guy's an idiot. What the hell is he doing? Even running or so, such as, you guys uh, take off your uh, toe bars, pitching toe bars right here. Take that off and then you take your <coughs> drive shaft out. And I just go ahead and stick that right in the bowl. Same with the other, same with this bar. Just go ahead and toss it in the water. It's not going to hurt to sit in the water for a few seconds. You know, just lubricate them and uh, uh, wash a lot of the dirt and muck. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. I'm going to try and get a little closer. See all that dirt and grime on that sucker? That is just disgusting. And that is what causes a lot of damage in your car. Disconnect these bad boys. If I can with no fingernails. Okay, so... Anybody know what it's like to chew on your fingernails? You know that you have no nail when it comes to pulling stuff, so I gotta use a pair of vice grips and damn near break. Oh, that one came apart a lot easier, thank God. Um. Gonna use one of these. This is what I use. I mean, not everybody has to use them. Um, but to kind of put your bolts. Just waiting though. They just sit there and wait. Because you don't want to just fill this up with bolts and nuts because then you're like, where did that one go to? And so that's no fun. You don't want to do that. You want to take it apart. Where'd my thing go? Gosh darn it. You want to take this apart in a way, in a manner to where you put everything back. Um, you'll see here in just a second. Once I pull this rear engine and trans out, because that's where most of your dirt collects, is in this area. Right in this main area right here, and in these little cracks and crevices through here. Most of this stuff is get blown off. <laughs> or water hit it and wash it off. Okay. That's out. Real simple, not that hard. Um, don't submerge this. I, would, I wouldn't suggest submerging this in any way, shape, or form. Um, just go ahead and wipe it down. That's what I would do. Um, if there's, I mean, like I said before, there's sprays you can get in there and psh, spray all that out with. I don't. There's not a hobby shop like real close to my house, so I can't like get in there when get one when I need one, you know. So, but this does for right now. Just give it a little scrub down in places you know that there's dirt in there, you know. Get all that dirt out of there, cause that dirt is gonna cause damage. You know, you need to clean that stuff. Get in there and clean hard. I know it sucks, and I know it's like, oh man, I don't want to take that whole thing apart. What if I can't put it back together? Well, that's what you got YouTube for. If you can't put it back together, let me know or let RC Adventures know and he or I can tell you how to put it back together. And it's normally not that hard. <coughs> not that hard to put it back together if you've just took it apart. Now you start breaking stuff as it's coming apart. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of issues. We're not going to be able to help you too much if you break stuff. But like I said before, get a good clean down on it. Make it look nice. 
keep your RCs nice, guys. Um, I know some guys like that that look that just looks old and beat up, but um, you know they make it look like those are new parts on there. You know, those guys have brand new parts on their stuff, and it, they make it to look like that. You know, a lot of guys like that look of style, you know, that style. Um, with these, these couplers, all I do is I just brush in there, get them as clean as I can. Maybe dump a little bit of oil in there. Actually, those are so dirty. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take those off. Because I can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can hear the dirt and stuff inside there. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take that off. There's a screw right here. And you go ahead and unscrew that screw. It's a little tiny sucker. little tiny screw. And I just dropped it. Luckily it's a magnetized screwdriver. Then, go on the other side, flip it over. And you see there's a little tiny hole right there. You can take a body pin, a body pin, and stick it in the hole. It'll push the pin out enough to where you can grab it with a pair of pliers. Bam, pin out. Then this comes off. Okay, this fell off during the video. <laughs> this is your hexagon that holds your tire on. Of course, it just pops right off. So go ahead, and that's plastic. You can put that right in the bowl. This pin comes out. There's this pin. You guys can see that pin right there. Pull that pin out, and you can see how filthy that thing is. You can just tell by the look of it. It's filthy. And pull, pull your pin out. Now mine don't have bearings, it's just copper sleeves in there, I believe, or brass sleeves with a steel rod, no bearing. This is what I, you can do with these. Put them right in the bowl. <laughs> Same way with the back, right here. See that little screw? You put this screw back in. Maybe not. They're the same size screws. So, and there are all four that are on this car are the same size. And hopefully they're the same size on your car. Um, so it doesn't matter if you get them mixed up. They're all the same. If you can see that right there, there was a motor mount on top that goes right on that. Here's the bolt that came from it. Instead of setting it on the table and losing it or misplacing it, I screw it back in to where it came from. Can you guys see that? Right in where it came from. Same way with the motor bolts. Motor bolts went in here. This way you don't lose or misplace your bolts. You know right where they came from and right where they need to go back in. 